Hello, my name is Jaden from XLR Security, and in this video, I'm going to be testing and reviewing the Ray E EG310GH-P-E High Performance Business VPN Router. This is a full gigabit router with eight PoE Plus ports and two uplink ports. You can set up to four of the ports as WAN ports, allowing you to load balance multiple internet connections together and keeping your network online, even if one of the lines stops working. In terms of appearance, this router is relatively compact, measuring about 20 cm wide. It weighs 550 grams and has a sleek, modern appearance. There are also screw slots on the bottom for wall mounting and rubber feet included inside the box so that it won't scratch the surface where it sits. Since this router is quite small, no rack mount brackets are included. If you want to mount it inside of a rack, you'll need to have a shelf for it to sit on. Before we continue, let me quickly introduce Rayi, since they're new to the Canadian market and you may not be familiar with them. Rayi is a sub-brand of their parent company, Ruji, which was established in 2003. Ruji makes networking equipment that powers some of the largest Chinese tech companies, including ByteDance, the developers of TikTok, Alibaba, and Tencent. Ruji manufactures enterprise-level equipment, while Rayi makes equipment for home offices and small to medium-sized businesses. In order to test the Rayi router, I replaced my older Ubiquiti Edge Router X that was powering our entire office. Honestly, I really like the Ubiquiti router, and I have been using it for the past three years, but it just wasn't giving us the internet speeds that we were supposed to be getting. We recently upgraded to Bell Gigabit Fiber, but the Edge router was giving us less than half of the advertised speed. A speed test for my laptop, while directly connected to the Ubiquiti router, shows it maxing out at around 320 megabits per second. On the other hand, when my laptop was connected to the Rayi router, it reached speeds of around 920 megabits per second, which is nearly a three times increase. So this is an extremely fast router perfect for offices with gigabit internet like ours. But what if you want to use it as a VPN so that you can connect to your network remotely? What kind of speeds can you get using the built-in VPN? The Rayi router supports four VPN protocols, IPsec, L2TP, PPTP, and OpenVPN. Since OpenVPN is a modern and secure protocol, this is what I used for testing. I had a computer on one side of the WAN and a laptop on the other side, and I used OpenVPN to bridge the two networks together. Here you can see me ping the laptop without VPN turned on, which shows the request timing out. And after enabling OpenVPN, the packets are able to get through, which shows that the VPN is working. Running iperf3 gives us an average bandwidth of 143 megabits per second, which puts the Rayi router neatly in line with devices such as the Unify Cloud Gateway Max. Unfortunately, Rayi does not support WireGuard, which is a lightweight, secure, and newer VPN protocol. According to their product manager, Hamia, on the Rayi forms, it's supposed to be added in Q3 2024. However, as of October 2nd, 2024, this feature is still not available. Hopefully it will be added soon, since WireGuard is around twice as fast as OpenVPN in some instances. When it does get added, I'll pin a comment below letting you know. In terms of management, you can log into the router directly through its IP address, 10.0.0.1 in my case, and access all of the settings from the web interface. There are plenty of settings that should satisfy even the most advanced users, such as support for up to 64 VLANs, a built-in firewall with a security log, smart QoS with custom policies, and tons of routing protocols that are far beyond the scope of my knowledge. You can also add this router to your Ruji Cloud account and manage it remotely from anywhere. Ruji provides this service for free, and if you have other Rayi devices, they can also be managed from the cloud. Lastly, you can download the Ruji Rayi app on your smartphone and manage your devices from there. It's a bit of a watered down experience though, so I found myself spending very little time in the app. 
It's nice for quickly checking the status of your devices, but for making more technical adjustments, I prefer the web interface. Overall, the Ray-E RG310GH router is a solid choice for small business or home office networks. The only downside that I can think of is that it doesn't have a 2.5 gigabit WAN port, but if your internet is less than one gigabit per second, like ours, then it's not really a problem. We've been using it for a few days, and so far it's been working great. I'm really happy with the increased network speed compared to the Ubiquiti, and for our ability to manage it remotely through the Ruji cloud. If you'd like to purchase one of these for yourself, you can visit our website, xlrsecurity.com, and create a dealer account. We also sell other Rayi products, including their Wi-Fi 6 access points, point-to-point -point bridges, and managed switches. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.